Yo, what's going on here at Clash Call? Welcome back to a brand new video. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Let's go. And we're jumping straight into Alchemy and Awakening Spring. They literally, literally go hand in hand. So first things first, we're going to talk about Alchemy, okay? The first section we have is Gear Disassembly. Now, it's very, very self-explanatory. However, there are some buttons in the game that are kind of hidden in plain sight. So it doesn't matter if you're on day one, day 10, day 100, you might just learn something new. Heck, there's a few things in the game where on day 100, I was like, that's in the game? What? You know, like it, it happens. Trust me. <laughs> so that being said, pay attention. Here we go. So when it comes to gear disassembly, yes, you're able to auto select certain items. However, if you hit the gear button, you're able to see which ones you want to auto select, right? So you have the silver all the way up to red plus the diamond. Since I'm further into the game than the majority of people, I always have everything selected but the red diamond, right? But you're able to adjust it as you go on in the game, okay? And it's way better than sitting there trying to click and trying to get the arrow. I couldn't even get the arrow, jeez louise. <laughs> you know, so like I'm trying to hit it. Eh. Okay, there we go. Boom and boom. There we go. So, like I said, it's just way easier to do the auto select feature instead of manually hitting each one, okay? So that being said, moving on to Hero Dissension. Now, this is the area you want to come to when you want to pretty much descend a hero. Yeah, when you pretty much want to downgrade a hero. You're probably curious, what is this actually good for, right? There are certain events in the game that will speed the game up if you descend a hero. In the Jungle Ruins, you have an event where you have to unlock five epic heroes or whatever, right? So all I do is just come over here, Hero Descent, boom, too easy. And then I go out, go to Awakening Spring, and I rinse and repeat. I do this five times, and it only costs... Your evolution awaits. Your evolution awaits. Okay, Your boom, evolution boom, awaits. And boom. Now this will make the Your hero evolution awaits. legendary, right? If I do that five times, I will get that achievement done right away to unlock more of the goodies for that specific event, okay? That's one of my big secrets when it comes to... Alchemy and Hero Dissension. Now when it comes to an S or S plus hero that's past legendary, as in like you have my twins right here, my Void Twins, as you can see, it requires that little orange descend bottle. Now these are extremely rare to get. If you're a free to play player, honestly, you're probably not gonna see one. You might see one every six months to a year, but if you are a pay to win player, as in whenever a new hero comes out, you will get this little bottle when you unlock that new hero. I think it's like with a $24.99 pass, but um, we'll talk about that when that situation arises. However, if you're further into the game and you have the dismantling store unlocked, you come over here, dismantling shop, and then right down here, you have right here, boom, twisty, you see that? For 50 essence, 50 pure essence, you can unlock one of them per month. Now, how much is 50 essence? That is a half of an S plus hero. So once you get an S plus hero that's maxed out, which is 18 pieces, on that 19th piece, when you go to alchemy to burn that hero, you will gain 100 pure essence, then you can use that for time essence, right? I don't recommend using it for time essence. I don't think it's worth it. In my personal experience, I think there's way more better options, but we covered that in a past video, okay? Moving back over to alchemy, once again, we go over to dismiss hero, and that's very self-explanatory. When you go into hero summoning or any special event that has summoning, you will get these green little heroes. A lot of people like to complain, like, oh, they're so garbage. No, I actually really enjoy these heroes. Why? Because you get the auto dismiss them. You get the good old bloodstone fragments. You get hero XP and you get rank up stones. Hands down. Now, really quick, I'm going to say this for like a fourth time. And this is like the fourth video saying this. These bloodstone fragments are very, very amazing. Like I said, if you go down here and you go over to dismantling shop, just kidding. Where's it at? If you go down here and then you go to Dismissal Store, you have Alvers. When you get 6,000 of those Bloodstone Fragments, you can unlock Alvers and only unlock Alvers no matter what. It doesn't matter if you have her fully maxed out, only unlock Alvers. Because once you do that, then you're able to burn her. And then guess what? It all correlates together. You go to Dismantle Store and you have 100 Pure Essence. <laughs> you know? So we'll be back to the alchemy. So now we're gonna talk about hero resets. Um, I guess you just hero reset. I don't have any to reset, so I can't even give an example. It was kind of self-explanatory. Moving on to disassemble ruins. Pretty much, where you, you pretty much you come here to disassemble ruins. Very self-explanatory. And as you click them, you get these little bottles, which are used ruin energy, which are used to rank up your ruins. Hands down, if you haven't seen the ruin video yet, that is episode number one 
of the beginner's guide and I recommend watching it because it's one of my favorite videos and I go into depth with everything ruins. Just saying, okay? With that being said, moving on to a disassemble relics. Hands down, like I said, I have a video on this as well with relics. Go watch it and this correlates with it as well. You come here, same thing. You have the auto select button. You can choose which relics you want to disassemble and then you get these little disassemble thingies. Yeah, right there, boom. The shards, okay? Moving on to hero dismantling for the last one. Here's where you dismantle a hero. I don't have any examples, this is unfortunate. Like I said, it's very self-explanatory. So if you pull an extra S plus here, if I pull a Varus for the 30th time, it will pop up here in hero dismantling and I'll be able to click it, yeah, I'll click it and then hit dismantle, boom, confirm, and then that's where I'll get my pure essence from. And S hero, you'll get the other essence as well, okay? Trinity from the future here. While rendering my video out, I was playing some Hero Clash in between, and I ended up unlocking an S and an S plus duplicate hero so we can show you what it looks like with the Dismantle store. Check it out. So with that being said, moving on to Awakening Spring. Like I said, it's self-explanatory. You have your Smart Awaken. I don't have any options to show y'all but like i said it's it's self-explanatory really quick when it comes to the awakening spring make sure you never ever 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 burn any hero that is an s or an s plus when it comes to awakening any hero only use a heroes do not use s and s plus heroes it's very very pertinent don't be the dude who burned dragonic trying to awaken dragon warrior just saying okay emotional damage so, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video about alchemy and awakening spring. I will see y'all tomorrow with the brand new episode, episode 11. Let's go. Greatness manifested.